all welcome to the truth show and in this video i will be talking about the after events after kevin hart's accident there are so many questions left unanswered let's talk speak about this now truth be told I was not going to however unanswered questions are a bother because here Kevin Hart was broadcasting his healing slash therapy process nevertheless within a broadcast he made sure they said that he was not the one driving however there is still the unanswered questions of who was driving because we still have not heard from Jared Black oh Rebecca rocks the man and he could have died and also it was told that Hart had spinal surgery. Well, let's take a closer look at those injuries. However, here is an inside look at how spinal surgery is done. All right, so we're gonna go back um, into the area of surgery through these doors here, and we'll get back into the area we're gonna do surgery at. So we're getting ready to go into surgery. Um, there's a lady that we're gonna operate on who has spinal stenosis, which is a narrowing of the spinal canal. So what she has, she has narrowing of the spinal canal, which is pinching the nerves in her back. So she has bad pain in her back and down her legs. And she can't walk hardly at all because she has so much pain. So we're gonna operate on her back to open up her spinal canal to unpinch the nerves. So the first thing we do out here is we scrub our hands. Obviously you've seen it on TV. You do this for a few minutes. Um, in between cases and that keeps everything nice and sterile. We just finished scrubbing at the sink. Now we're in the operating room, so we're going to get our gowns on. So the nurse here is going to help us get our gowns on. So this is the part where the anesthesiologist starts to put the patient to sleep. So you can see he has actually given the patient through an IV multiple agents, including a muscle relaxant and several other agents that help the patient fall asleep. So within 10 seconds of giving this medication, the patient will literally just fall asleep. Now you can see that we've got everything draped off sterilely. So we've got all the sterile drapes on the patient and the back is exposed. And so we're gonna get ready to make incision here in a minute. So this is an electrocautery device that helps um, stop bleeding that we use. As I'm, you know, dissecting down the spine, obviously you have to go through some muscle and tissue and you get, you get bleeding. So these blue things are called bipolar instruments. And the electricity goes right through the tip, so I can put these tips right on the spot that's bleeding and it cauterizes it. So we use these a lot because there's a lot of bleeding as you go down that you need to stop so you can see what you're doing. Same thing if like we're operating on the brain um, and you get a blood vessel on the brain that's bleeding, you have to have a really fine tip that cauterizes just the blood vessel and not any part of the brain. Now, it's evidentiary that he did have surgery. I'm not doubting that. Although doctors and friends said that his scar does not look three months old and it looks like it was drawn. However, not going there right now because people's bodies heal differently. Considering I've had four surgeries and I have a personal insight into how scars heal, however, I'm not going there. Because I want to talk about the unanswered question on who was driving. In order to debunk that, we need to take a closer look at his pictures and videos. just one second 
I want you all to know that it doesn't stop here. I have a lot of neat things going on. Did you all know I have three other channels? One being my sister's channel. Oh, yes. I have the Truth Show, as you all should know. Keisha's Gossip and Truth. The Truth Show Deluxe. My sister's Top T and Five or Six. And that's not all. You can visit my website at thetruthshow.co. This website gives you inside information and more. Or become a patron for only $2. Or sign up for my YouTube membership for a dollar more and get access to that and more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I have a blog. So you can read all of my latest and popular scripts in detail. Oh, I'm still not done yet. If you like my videos and you want me to make you one, whatever it may be, well, visit Freezing Moments in Time website and submit your request and we can talk, honey. Everything is below. And now let's get. Not forgetting, it has been about three months and he wears a lot of body makeup, which makes it hard to help you. Here are some pics of different types of steering wheel injuries. Okay, we should have a clear picture of what it looks like now. However, here is the twist. Upon Hart releasing videos on his LOL channel, there is not a scar visible. Not ruling out that these videos could have been pre-recorded before September 1st, you know, his accident. You also should know that there wasn't a back seat. So why keep pushing that lie? The question of where they were all were sitting is still up in the air. However, there have been many speculations. Nevertheless, why haven't we heard him talk about his alleged friend, Jared Black, and female trainer friend, Rebecca Broxton, in condition? He has not commented on it or shown any remorse at all. It is almost as if he is pleading his case. Moreover, hoping we do not bring up the fact that allegedly his friend Jared Black and female trainer Rebecca Broxtman could have died. Also keep in mind that the statistics in car accidents, the drivers are the ones who have a higher chance of surviving, as I'm sure most of you already know. So with that being said, and speaking hypothetically here, what if Mr. Hart was the one who was driving? And I did a video about this. I put it on my Keisha's Gossips and Truths. I'll leave it below or you can just click it at the end of this video and get back to where I was saying. What if Mr. Hart was the one who was driving and his team quickly pulled him away because he was afraid that they would smell liquor on his breath perhaps and also become blamed for the accident that would inevitably ruin his career. Now, if this is true, I will never look at Kevin Hart the same again. Finally getting an answer to him being soulless especially after allegedly learning that his friend Jared Black and his girlfriend Rebecca Roxman allegedly could have died in an accident. That was mostly Hart's fault, who has a history of DUI and is marketing off of it by trying to get people to sympathize with him. Why isn't anyone trying to figure out what is going on with the other two? Why haven't Kevin broadcast visiting Jared Black and his girl Rebecca Roxman? What's the big secret? Because something is not right. Tell me your thoughts below and please tell me all of you had the same questions. Now keep in mind, what I said earlier about the passengers, backseat passengers, are the ones who always ends up with the most injuries, not the driver. I want you to keep that in mind. This uh, young man is undergoing a lot of therapy. He got really, really damaged, which is kind of unlikely if he was the one who was driving. And if you notice in my statement that I'm about to read off, she didn't mention anything about him being the driver or not, literally. Here, here's what she said. She said, grateful and blessed. September 1st, 2019 was the scariest day of my life. God was definitely watching over us that night and protecting us. Thank you, Lord, for wrapping your loving arms around us in our time of need. Red 10, 9, 17, 19. First of all, I want you all to know that ultimately, all three of us in the car wreck are alive and recovering. And that's what matters the most. 
it is going to be a long road to recovery but we have the best support team the scariest part for jared and i was being separated after both being airlifted to ucla just a lot of rest and physical therapy ahead for both of us jared is the strongest person i know and he will get through this we still have each other and that's what matters the most this could have had a completely different outcome and we feel so blessed that it was not any worse from the bottom of my heart thank you for all of the prayers phone calls texts and messages it means the real to us that we feel so much love and support from you all at this time i will keep you all updated as we embark on this new journey today feeling so much better we are both healing jared is well on the road to recovery after having major back surgery we are doing physical therapy together a few times a week our relationship is stronger than ever and we have so much to be thankful for life can take you in many different directions and we are just so happy to be here for it all we have felt so much love these past 2.5 months and that doesn't go unnoticed so thank you to each of you this is our journey it will have ups and it will have downs but we will always have each other at jared staten i love you so much and and am thankful that we are doing life together now it's been like almost three months and remember i told you in my last video if you follow keisha's gossip and truths if um rebecca was sitting on jared's lap i will expect some kind of injury and i would expect him trying to save her from going through the windshield hence he probably would have grabbed her you know over the chest using his arm hence the arm sling that he's currently wearing at this moment and her bruises is where are they they practically invisible it was rumored that she practically walked away from that she may have a little back problem and maybe, maybe even need a little bit therapy but she practically walked away from that it looks like he took the brunt of the accident, mainly from the back, from the car, things of that nature. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe some glass scanning. I'm not sure of the exact conditions there, but that that's what it looks like. Um, it doesn't look like he was driving to me, but I'm not an expert. Remember, the passengers are, are the ones that who gets hurt the most. Tell me your thoughts below on this. It's still a little bit suspicious, and it's really suspicious that she didn't even say, oh, I'm sorry for driving, or he's sorry for driving. I don't know if his lawyer or their lawyer is telling him not to say that, but the truth definitely needs to be brought forth. Seriously.